Well, hello everyone. It has been a little while since I've done this. A few things have changed in my life, and uh, I think for the better. I wanted to do a one year plus review of this uh, 6000 XP EG4. It's been working pretty good for me. I'll show you some charts here in a little bit, how it's doing. I have expanded my solar array during this last year. Uh, to almost double what it was producing and uh, a lot of things have changed uh, for one thing I retired and number two I am moving back home to Texas where I'm from and I'm starting a whole new homestead in Texas I will show y'all what I'm doing I'm going to be designing a whole new system out there to totally go off grid this time and uh, a whole lot of other things uh, regarding homesteading, self-sufficient lifestyle, uh, but I am heading off the East Coast. I've kind of had enough of the East Coast after 45 plus years of working, uh, but uh, it's time to go home. I've been uh, traveling back and forth in the last few months. I'm sorry I haven't given you a, a recent video. Uh, but it's been pretty hectic between trying to finish up my retirement and uh, starting to move, which I'm already in the process. So I'm excited about showing you all that. I'm also excited to tell you about the 6000 XP. It's been doing a pretty good job for me. It's reduced my electric bill probably by about a $125 a month. Uh, it takes on pretty much everything. I've had a few quirks, but it doesn't really seem to have hurt it or anything I guess it gets a little weird here and there uh, and just to kind of go back on what I my setup is I have a 28 kW battery bank lithium phosphate I designed myself there are two batteries 48 volts uh, separate batteries each one of them is about 14 kW my batteries are lithium phosphate batteries. I have two sets of 16 batteries. This is one bank. They're 3.2 volt batteries, 280 amp hours. This battery is hooked into its own, own separate shutoff valve. So I can isolate this battery from this battery. Again, it's got its own shutoff valve. Both BMS's are here and on the other side. Both of these shut off valves. That way I can work on each battery. I can take one off, balance it, and still have the system running. They both come up here, join on to the terminal there, and then feed into the inverter. Now I also have my shunt, which runs for both batteries, and I can read my shunt as well. This is how my shunt looks. And then this is how my battery's monitor looks. For those who are not familiar with the EG4 6000 XP, it has a main battery breaker switch, board, switch here. And then it's got uh, your load which goes out to my breaker panel which is strictly solar uh, it has no runs nothing but off the battery and this inverter and it has a grid area too right here this is where I, I'm feeding off of the grid here uh, this is how I charge the batteries when the grid is still up it's just easier doing that I can hook up and have the ability to hook up to a generator as well if the grid ever was to go out to charge my batteries. Uh, but I just really haven't had to do that. Again, I run out of time and I'm moving, so I'm not going to do it this time. I will do it on my other house. I will buy a propane generator and have probably a 500 gallon propane tank. To feed the generator the generator will only need to run a few hours to recharge these batteries if i ever was to lose grid or need grid so the fuel is going to last a pretty long time 
This is the display panel. Uh, I'm not real happy with it. It's weird setup and the way it shows stuff, but it you can find all kinds of information here as well. On the side, you have the Wi-Fi dongle. This unit is pretty quiet. I uh, never had... I need to clean my uh, filter there, I believe. That's a year and a half. I have never cleaned it. There's your on-off switch for the uh, PV the uh, solar array which also comes in here from here and through my DC switches the dual pole shut them both off but whenever I need to shut it off and on I've always just hung up the routine so that I turn it off and turn it back on right but I haven't turned I haven't turned this unit off wow probably a year which is why the filter is still dirty. I don't want to turn it off to clean the filter. It's just working good, but I guess I will be soon. My batteries do not communicate with my inverter. How I charge these batteries is strictly off of voltage. Back when I built these, it was complicated and I didn't want to spend all the money to buy server rack batteries. I wanted to design and build my own because it was a lot cheaper. I believe it still is. And, but when you do that, the BMS I'm using, the overkill BMS, doesn't communicate with this inverter. It's worked out fine. Everything running off of this system, which I've got quite a bit of stuff, is strictly off this battery and has been for over a year and a half now. Uh, it's a total off-grid panel that runs certain things throughout my house the lights throughout my house uh, I've got plugs in every room I run two freezers two refrigerators up at stairs in the kitchen I also run the microwave up there I run my entire living room entertainment system my entire office off of this uh, so it does quite a bit I've got it hooked up for the well I never did connect it to the well uh, but I just never got around to it and now I'm retiring and moving and I'm not going to mess with it <laughs> at this point. Uh, I'm looking at uh, building a new home or rebuilding an old historic home which my grand great grandfather built. My grandfather grew up there who then gave it to my dad who grew where I grew up and I'll, I'll show you a brief little thing on that one and uh, that's where I'm going back home basically where I grew up my granddad grew up my great granddad made this house it's it's a, going to be a pretty fun trip I'm looking forward to it uh, I've been back there a couple times now I uh, also get to spend some time with my dad who is uh, getting up there in years and I, I want to be with him. I'll show you the settings now that I have on this inverter to read the voltage. I could probably drop my voltage down a little bit more and would have been fine gotten more out of it. I just haven't had the time. It doesn't communicate with it but it sure hadn't stopped me any. Like I said before I had a few quirks. Here's one day in particular where it just kind of got off a little bit. I've had it kind of lock itself in a few times where the, the grid turned on and started charging the batteries but it wouldn't shut itself off but I just saw that and noticed it and it eventually did or I would shut it off if it was overdoing it but that hadn't really been too big a problem uh, it does recognize it when it's too much now I only feed about 5k W into my batteries at a time. Seems like over and over again it's the grid turns on right before sunrise and I w don't want it to fully charge the battery because then I lose that all that sunlight the next morning. I had a viewer who asked me what gauge wire I used for the grid feed into my inverter. It's a six gauge wire just for your knowledge and for some of y'all who are new to my channel, I don't get any money from anyone anywhere. I have paid for all this myself. 
I'm not out to make money on this. Uh, I remember YouTube when it was new and it was just people communicating and talking. I have no affiliates. I'll have no links to any of these products. This is my gut feeling how it works, uninfluenced by anyone or any money other than my own. And I've made no money off of YouTube. <laughs> uh, that's how I plan on staying. Like I said, I'm retired. I'm doing this to try to help others out, uh, not to make money. So if I don't like something, I'm going to tell you I don't like it. Um, if any vendor or affiliate wants to send me something new to try out, I will be happy to, to take it. I will not be sending it back to you. I will not be paying for it. And if I don't like it, you're probably going to wish you didn't send it to me. But I'll be happy to take it. I'm not an expert at this. I'm learning as I go. I'm not a professional. So I probably am going to screw up a few things here and there. Uh, I've shocked myself many times already. But I'm okay. <laughs> no, I haven't. I've done pretty good. I haven't burned down my house yet either. So, yeah, that's pretty good. I, apparently, I, I made it through this house. Hopefully, it doesn't burn the next one. I will have to say, I think I will put the batteries in a separate building uh, next time because I'm probably going to be tripling them in size and a little bit more power, a little bit more stuff. Uh, it will be outside of the house. I do have some experience, 45 years in construction, as well as I did work for Tesla and Solar City, uh, designing solar arrays for them. But I, I'm not a professional, so I like to think I'm not a complete idiot. Some may think differently, but <laughs> my uh, channel may be a little bit more adulty. Uh, for those who like to uh, go through and just critique everyone to death and think they're better or know more, I'm just going to delete your ass. <laughs> I could care less. For those of you who want to ask questions or put in comments, I'm more than happy to listen. Uh, I'll apologize if I make something wrong or anything of that nature. I've done that a, a time or two by accident. And I'll try to correct it so that others don't make any mistakes of that nature too. I do get a lot of my sourcing from other YouTubers who I actually have a lot of respect for. Will Pose is one of them. He's a... The problem with him is he's way smarter than the rest of us. So he... Doesn't go into as much detail as he ought, as he ought to, but uh, I can't blame him. He's he's probably part alien. Uh, I like Will. Uh, he's made so much money. He doesn't care what anyone thinks, and uh, you can tell. Uh, he's probably a cousin of Elon Musk, because we all know he's an alien. <laughs> There's several other YouTubers who I like. I'll mention them in the other videos. They've commented on me too. It, it's been a while since I've been on. Uh, thanks for joining in again. Thanks for hanging in there. I'll keep you up to date. Please subscribe, like if, if you like. Uh, and I hope you enjoy the journey with me. Take care of yourself. Don't electrocute yourself. <laughs> and uh, don't burn down your house. That's, that's not good. Uh, thanks for my subscribers. I hope you're both still here. Uh, and uh, I look forward to your comments. Good comments. Hope to learn from y'all as well. I'm uh, really looking forward to the future and the upcoming videos and stuff uh, moving back to Texas. I'm excited about that. I hope you are too. Thanks a lot. See ya.